Afghanistan has been in a situation of chronic instability and conflict for decades. War has had heavy consequences on the country and tragically, young children have often been the target of violence. One of the five Afghan Sagan members, Ashiana, which means the nest, has been working for almost 20 years for the protection of the children in the country. Like other organizations that bring essential services to vulnerable groups of the Afghan society, Ashiana provides meals, educational programs and health services that otherwise children would never get. The phenomenon of street and working children that we observe in all South Asia is in this country particularly fierce. Even if there is a lack of data, it is estimated that over 20% of Afghan children are involved in some kind of odd jobs such as water carrier, domestic help, street vendors or even begging. Children of poor families are often the only breadwinners in their households and are forced to drop out from school. That is why Ashiana runs schools and drop-in centers that provide basic education in different parts of Afghanistan, providing counseling and support to families and helping children to be reintegrated in the mainstream school system. Students are provided pen, paper and textbooks in addition to soap, toothpaste and clothing for the children along with a basic meal at lunch. Classes operate in two shifts, morning and afternoon. This allows the children to receive education while at the same time being able to continue to earn an income for their families. I like reading books and also tell my friends to read them. Books are vital for learning in future. My life has changed ever since I have come to Ashiana. I am very happy. Ashiana also provides access for their students to health professionals. Each center has access to a doctor once a week and each center has a full-time social worker to assist in the mental health development of the children and liaise with their families. In keeping with Ashiana's policy of a well-rounded education, the children also participate in art and physical education programs. For many of the female students, being within the walls of Ashiana is the only opportunity they have to engage in these kind of activities. And when the children don't come to school, Sometimes, the school must travel to the kids. As part of its outreach policy, Ashiana runs a mobile library, the van equipped with hundreds of books. It heads out to the streets of Kabul, sometimes even to remote areas, to give children access to books. I hope we will be able to uh, make some strategy and policy uh, for the protection of the child in this region. And that's very important alliance for grassroots NGO especially. Uh, they learn this experience from each other and also the issue of the child of the right will be uh, get better very soon in Afghanistan or inshallah in the South Asian country in the region. The commitment to reach out to children where it is mostly needed brings Ashiana to the outskirts of Kabul, where waves of Afghan displaced people have congregated in long-term refugee camps. Ashiana is running various outreach centers, providing about 2,000 children with some basic education, including civics, social behavior and religion. Children are also helped by facilitating their transition to neighboring governmental schools. The demand for education and job training is the most widespread and urgent as it represents the only way out from the camps.
in a reality deeply affected by war as the Afghan one. These are examples of rare opportunities for the Afghan children, contributing to the rebirth of a country like Afghanistan, where the conflict sashes need to leave the place to the hope of its future generations.